All right, face of a gourmet. We're gonna do some French onion soup today, okay? This is a classic, good old standby. This is a good one. Now the problem of the French onion soup is what you see nowadays is, uh, well, uh, Americans get a hold of it and just totally fuck it, okay? So we're gonna try to go back to the basics here and just give you as true of a version of French onion soup as I can. Just gonna stick to the basics, nothing fancy. Uh, it's a really good soup. Okay, so the ingredients for this soup are uh, pretty simple, okay? I need onions, of course. Uh, my rule is I do one onion per serving, okay? And that is if you're using eight ounce crock. Just use a normal, you know, medium, normal sized onion. Uh, you can get uh, 12 ounce crocks. But for me, that's just a little, a little big unless you want to make an entire meal out of it. This is good appetizer size, eight ounce crock. Okay, you're gonna need some good Gruyere cheese. Don't mess around, get the good stuff. Okay, you're gonna need French baguette, uh, some good cognac. We're gonna need dry leaf thyme, a couple bay leaves, some butter, and probably most importantly would be the. Uh, homemade beef stock, okay? Well, the recipe at the beginning of the video is for, uh, I put down a recipe for four of these. I'm only going to do two, but it's pretty pretty simple. You're going to do one onion per crock, one cup of stock per crock, you know, bay leaf thyme, top with cheese, about three croutons. You'll be good to go. All right, so you got our onions peeled here. I'll go ahead and slice them. Sliced onions, yeah, I, don't, I don't like going that way because then they get these uh, like half moons and like hang up on the spoon and shit, you know what I mean? So sliced onions, I go this direction. Just a real thin slice. A good sharp knife definitely helps with this. Okay. So that's what I do is I slice that. so thin you can't grab it, kind of flip it down, get a little bit of trip on it, okay? Alright, let's get some heat on that pan, a little bit of butter, right, about a tablespoon per onion. up a little bit. This is key here. Dry leaf thyme. Caramelizing the onions with dry leaf thyme. That is uh, classic French onion soup. Okay, if you can use fresh thyme if you got it, dry leaf thyme is fine for this. Uh, so we're going to caramelize them nice and slow, low for about 40-45 about minutes until they get a nice uh, mahogany color to them. All right, so while those onions are caramelizing, we'll go ahead and get our uh, croutons ready. So this French baguette, we'll slice it up, about three eighths thick or so. We'll do about three croutons per soup. So we'll need six up. Okay, what we do, we'll go ahead and kick on the boiler. Go ahead and lay them on there. And Toast them up real nice. All right, got the croutons out, nice and nice and toasty. Okay, good and crunchy. You don't want any wet bread going in there. Okay, so good. Toast them up really good. All right, we're about at the uh, yeah, about 25 minutes in. Getting some good color, but still got a little bit more to go. Probably another 10 or 15 minutes. All right, we're going about. About 50 minutes here, okay? As you can see, we got a really good looking color going there, okay? Alright, so we're going to take our cognac off the heat. About a quarter cup cognac. Heat turned up. 
a little torch. Turn off that alcohol. A little bit of flour. Two servings. I'll do a couple pieces of flour. I want the soup real thick. Get that flour in. Cook it a little. Simmer that for uh, about, about 10 minutes, not long, 5 10 minutes. Alright, we go in here for a few minutes and you can see it's looking nice. Mm. Tasty. Get the broiler preheated. Blast it. Alright, we're ready to get these uh, into the crocs. Well, first thing, get rid of those bay leaves. We put two in there, so we better get two out. Someone may be eating one of them. So this is in there somewhere. Let's just lay it a little and make sure we don't get it in the crock. Getting hot too. Go ahead and blast them for you know as long as it takes. Want that cheese nice and nice and melted. Maybe even a little, a little brown, you know. So uh, let it go as long as it takes. Probably about five, seven minutes. I think these babies are ready to come out. They are looking. Definitely want to let them cool for a good 
good 10 minutes, man. They're, they are bubbling hot, as you can see. Oh, the smell. All right, so there you have it. It's a good old French classic. French onion soup. Just kept it simple. Uh, stick to the basics. And that's how it's going to turn out the best. In the basement gourmet. Alright, time to dig into this soup. I'll tell you what. Mm. The overflow there. Alright. Oh. So you want to try to get a bite of crouton cheese soup.